Hey everyone, I'm Rob, and this is a tutorial in Affinity Designer on dividing up curves. I'm going to show you a way of dividing curves into specific lengths, as well as into uh, a specific number of segments that you want to divide it into. These features aren't natively available in the software, so I have a few tips and tricks and techniques, and I hope you find it useful. To divide up a curve, I use the dash line stroke feature. To demonstrate how this works, let's add a horizontal straight line 100 pixels wide. I enable dash line style and the butt cap style as it's called, set the width to 1 pixel and the dash pattern to 1 and 1. We find that the length of a dash matches the width. If we increase the width to 2 pixels, the length is now 2 pixels. Also, if we increase the dash pattern to 2, it doubles the length to 4 pixels. The principle here is that the dash length just is the width times the dash pattern. Okay, but you came here for curves, not straight lines. Now that we have this principle, let's curve our line and divide it into fixed length segments. So in this example, I want my line to be 5 pixels wide and segments to be 10 pixels long. So I set the width to 5 and the dash pattern to 2 because 5 times 2 is 10. Next, I copy and paste this line and set this copy out of phase by just matching it to the dash pattern. You can see it looks solid now, so I'll change the color of the top line so you can see it. Now I have two choices, convert these to closed shapes or chop up the curve into smaller ones. To convert into shapes, select both curves, go to the layer menu, and click expand stroke. We may take this further by using divide to break it up into individual shapes. If instead you want to chop the curve into segments, copy a curve, shrink it and set it to a solid line, change its color, and now you may use the knife tool to chop up the line at the points marked by the pattern. Okay, so what if instead of fixed lengths, you wish to divide a curve into a specific number of segments? Let's take this ellipse and divide it into 10 equal sections. The first thing is to figure out how long this curve is by setting up a reasonable number of segments we can count. So let's make it nice and thick. I'll try 30 pixels. Hmm, maybe let's go 40. All right, let's double this dash pattern number. That's pretty countable now. So I know that each segment is 80 pixels because 40 times two is 80. And if you grab the measuring tool here, it's pretty darn close. The end gap is a little smaller, about 45 pixels, but we just need an approximation. So what's our total length? Well, each segment or gap is 80 pixels long, and I'll just count these up. We have 21 segments plus the little end bit. 21 times 80 pixels is 1680 pixels. Add the 45 for a total of 1725. That's our total curve length. Now let's divide it into 10. So that's 172.5. And let's say I actually want a thicker curve, so I'll set it to 60. I'll divide the new total by the new width of 60, and that gives us our segment length of 2.875. There you go, we now have 10 close to equal segments. And then as before, you can choose what you wanna do with it. You can do this with basically any curve. Bigger, more complex shapes may take a little bit more figuring. What do you think? Do you have any of your own tricks that you like to use for this kind of thing? Uh, was this tutorial helpful for you? Let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts.